Hi Libras, welcome to your reading. So I'm doing this reading for now and today is the 18th up until the end of December for this year. Um, I'm going to focus on love but any other messages that will come up um, I would also talk about. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to shuffle and see what falls out and well... <laughs> Isn't that funny, right? For once. Um, yeah, and, and let's just see what's going to come out for you guys. And um, yeah, if you have any messages. So I was like uh, focusing on your energies and what I keep hearing and feeling and just like this urge like to tell you guys. Um, it's like manifest a new beginning like constantly like manifest a new beginning that's what I constantly hear felt like I constantly felt like um, that that message just keep kept coming back and kept um, you know come to me so that's what I wanted to t uh, tell you guys before I start reading the cards is that um, yeah if it resonate with you manifest a new beginning I don't know if that has to do anything with like we're changing years going from 17 up till 2018 now um, but I think it is a message for for somebody and uh, that's maybe waiting on an answer and I'm just telling you manifest a new beginning that's what I had to say so let's get into um, you guys reading so I'm gonna shuffle uh, I read the fallouts and the flip overs. Um, that's how I've um, learned to read the tarot cards. Well, I figured out that was the best way for me, and I'm always the most accurate when I read those and uh, read that way. So, <clears throat> sorry. I'm just gonna continue um, reading the cards as I've always been doing, and um, yeah, what has been working for me. So, well. We already got a flip over. Isn't that nice? The Six of Pentacles. And you guys are right here. Let's go. And it's in the upright. I don't always read like reverse. Only when they really just come out in reverse. And I feel like, okay, it needs to be in reverse. But overall, I don't shuffle um, to make them like reverse or anything. It's always upright. So we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. So like giving and receiving, you know, equality, balancing things out. Are you guys like um, working on something right now with somebody to make it more balanced so it becomes more equal? Because I keep feeling like, there we go. We got the Wheel of Fortune, guys this is a great start like for you guys it's reading it's a six of pentacles and a real fortune so changes are coming didn't we wasn't i talking about manifesting a new beginning well the real fortune is here so definitely new beginnings are on the horizon whether that is a new beginning Sorry, guys, it's a little bit too much. If they have to come out, they will flip out. Um, if you talk about manifesting a new beginning, then definitely the real fortune is definitely a good card for that. And things are about to change. I feel like a big change is coming. I don't know if that's like a change that is coming to your life, you know, from the universe to towards you, or something that you just decided yourself, like, hey, I need a new beginning. I need a change. I need a change in my job. The cards are just so uh, uneasy right now. I need a change in my job. I need uh, a change in my relationship. I need to move house. I need this. I need that. And of course, we're still in Mercury retrograde. So don't make any big decisions, like huge decisions during this period. It's only a couple days left. So I'm so happy because this has been very heavy on me as well. Um, I'm doing this reading today because I feel like, okay, it's the new moon energy and I can just feel it very strong. So I'm just gonna, you know, um, do these readings today. But Mercury Retrograde has definitely been um, 
you know, doing his typical delays in traveling, uh, communication problems, uh, messages not coming in, emails not working, you know, the typical Mercury traits. Um, but also, like the past, like the past has been coming back heavily this last couple of weeks for a lot of people. I see, I see a lot of people coming back together or just, you know, communicating with things or just trying to like release themselves from old patterns or old ways. And that's Mercury retrograde. It's like that period is, is, is like perfect for that to, you know, bring balance back into your life and to try to release certain things from the past so you can actually focus on the new things and the new beginnings in the future, which I really feel for you guys. I really feel like you guys are ready you're like on oh, 2018 gonna be my year that's what i feel for you guys like okay i'm gonna leave certain things in the past and that's perfectly like like this month is perfectly for that um this period um we got a lot of new like a very strong new moon today and um it's just um yeah it's it, it's the perfect time to like think about what what you want to do what you want to do next and i feel like you guys are like embodying like the energy of the king of wands you know like okay we're gonna move forward we're gonna do this we're gonna we're gonna make the decision and i know you guys are hard on like not big on decisions like um not everybody of course depends on what your moon and rising sign is but in general you guys don't really like to make too many decisions you know or big decisions but i feel like you guys are ready you're so ready. So ready for this change. Yeah. You're so ready to leave the conflicts behind. Like the, the mental um, sort of conflicts that you had in yourself. Like, am I supposed to change? Or am I supposed to do this or not? Or, or why do I feel like this? And, and why doesn't it fit anymore? Or why can I just like find the answer? Like just so like off balance and balance for you guys of course really important but i see it like there were like minor conflicts whether it was between you and a fire sign could also be it maybe an aries sagittarius sagittarius sorry or a leo person um there were like some conflicts whether it was like minor conflicts within comfort you know like uh, conversations with this fire sign with this person or an earth sign I see here but whether that's whatever that was that's coming to an end right now because we got the wheel of fortune over here and we got the death card coming out with it so that's done and it's you, you might still be like right in it right now but you're coming out of it because the death card is here and that card is also uh, a card of new beginnings, like new things. Just making that decision, standing for that. Like, hey, I got the one. I made the decision and I'm going to keep this um, promise to myself or to that other person or whatever that decision might be. And you're going to nurture this new beginning into something beautiful. Like this time is different. I feel like... You've tried this before to make this change or the shift in your life. War is coming up. But this time it's different because you're really going to give it your all. Like you're really going to nurture it into to, to something beautiful. Like the Empress, she is... Um, she is um, like a mother, like a nurturer. She's creative and she sends for new beginnings and, 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 and things are being, you know, having like a lot of potential for a beautiful, um, like have like a lot of potential to become something really beautiful. <clears throat> and if you're embodying the energy, like the energy of the Empress, she's sitting on her throne right here, you see? She doesn't need nobody. Like she doesn't need anything like she's grounded she's happy like she's you know in the forest and as well it could also mean like uh, maybe you guys uh find out you're pregnant between uh, now and like two or three weeks i didn't see it coming 
and it did came like maybe you've been wanting to to start a family for a long time and it was causing like f conflicts you know between you and your partner <clears throat> and then the wheel of fortune came in and and it might like not have been working out for a long time you, at one point you're like okay what am i supposed to do and you let it go for a little bit and the wheel of fortune comes in and you might end up pregnant of course it's not gonna resonate for a lot of people but it might be for somebody that is listening to this reading and think like hey is he sex mm, she might be talking about me <laughs> you know you guys you will feel it definitely you'll feel it okay so let's shuffle a little bit further let's see what else is coming up for you guys um for libra for libra to the end of december 2017 we got one oh look at that and look at the bottom of the deck look at that that's you guys' overall energy so i do really feel like for the people who've been dealing with a fire sign you guys are manifesting something new this fire sign is changing up his um his ways like he's really stepping up you know he's really like um changing his attitude towards you guys because you guys were like firm you were like no i want this like i want a new beginning and i'm from you're gonna speak from out the empress like position you know out of her energy like no i want this i don't mind giving to you to this relationship i don't because i love doing it because i'm a caretaker and i nurture things into fruition but it got to be equal we have to make this an, an an equal relationship like equality of give and take i sometimes also need something you guys been standing up because i know you don't like conflicts that much you rather you know think like okay maybe i'll let it pass let's just cook dinner let's just not talk about it because i just can't simply not deal with this energy with the energy of the conflict conflicts and the conversations let me just, let me just like, you know, not talk about it. I'll just, you know, whatever. But no, like you guys are done. Whether that's, that conversation still needs to come up or you just had it. You guys are done with like, oh, like giving to a relationship that is just, just you giving and giving and giving. But that other person is just not appreciated or not not giving anything back so you know it's not equal but i see a change coming and you guys could also be dealing with a cancer maybe you guys be dealing with another water sign um but how i read this card right now uh is that you guys are moving forward and like i said like that new beginning this is new beginnings getting on your chariot and moving forward whether it's with a person or without a person is that decision you are going to make or you just made and you're gonna keep it this time like i don't know why i keep saying this time but it doesn't probably mean something for for somebody whether you're gonna move forward and be you know the empress and you're going to be single for a little bit. And you're going to walk with that energy. Because you know like what self-care is. Self-love. Um, self Self-acceptance. You know who you are. You're fine with that. Because you are good. You know. You are. Honestly. You don't need to change. You know. And. You're going to move forward. And then you might bump into somebody. That could be your soulmate. That could give you this two of cups. Because this is a soulmate ship. This is a long lasting relationship. This is a, a, a equal give and take relationship. You know. This is balanced. And of course not every a relationship is always balanced. Like sometimes somebody's going through something. And you just have to be there for that person. And sometimes you will encounter certain challenges in your life and then you that person just got your back for you know a while a period 
in a relationship and that's of that is also part of equal give and take it doesn't always need to be in the exact moment but when you are having a hard time i'll be there for you and when i do you'll be there for me and and i know that and that feeling will also give you the two of cups that that is a part of the two of cups of emotion and feeling so what i feel like for you guys is that you had a decision to make and you're making it and you're moving forward and then you're gonna meet a soulmate that somebody's gonna come in your life and i don't know if it's gonna be like now in two weeks hey it might even be with new year's eve we got a lot of parties coming up um i do see the two of the eight of pentacles underneath the two of cups so it might be in a work situation and we got a lot of christmas parties coming up <laughs> and you know especially in january of like you know all these little cocktail things for the new year receptions and stuff um so it might could be somebody in work but what i really feel is that it has been a while where you've been giving more than you received in a relationship but you decided i don't want that anymore that has ended you stepped up for yourself you made the decision, this is what I want, this is what I need from this relationship, can you give it to me or not? And I know it doesn't sound like me, because I'm a Libra and I don't like confrontations and I'd rather, you know, just balance things out and keep the harmony and the peace and everything. No, but this time is for me, like me, you know? And I know we don't have a lot of air in this reading. And I know you guys are an air sign. But I feel like you guys are embodying the energy of the Empress. Made the decision. And like I felt like, in an, like I kept feeling like and hearing this message like manifest a new beginning. You have the power to manifest. See manifest everything from a little seed to grows a huge like beautiful plant or a flower. Because she, she has for you know. She's standing for that, for growth, for development. Um, it's great. So, to, you know, put this reading in one um, little uh, storyline. Sorry, guys. I, mean, I, just, I was so in, <clears throat> lost in the story. Um, you're standing up for yourself. And if you are doubting that right now please stand up for yourself because you have the empress to embody her energy you got that for last two weeks you know or last week and a half for uh december definitely you got that energy going for you you have beautiful things coming up because you have the wheel of fortune so things are really move forward you know that there aren't it's done like you can't the, the death card is here ending to the stagnation and the, the um conflicts and to not knowing and to just like asking yourself like all these questions and to like bats like sleeping bad and you know constantly in your mind in your head like an air sign can do sometimes that is like done that an ending coming to that and whether that is with a person you know you're already with and he's shifting his energy or her energy of course and the other way around and you guys are just walking into a two of cups like this with this energy into the new year. Manifesting a new way of give and take. Manifesting um, maybe a new house, a new home, or a new city and move in. Maybe you are, um, because we have the Eight of Pentacles here as well. And we got this, you know, Knight of Cups under it. So what I see for you guys is that whether that is with love or with work it will work out if you keep the focus on listening to your heart like yourself inner self like does this feel right does this feel good follow your intuition you have a strong intuition libra like really and sometimes a need to like balance things sorry sometimes the need to balance things is bigger than to really um, just go through that and to have that conflict and just go, and, you know, confrontation. Um, just do that. Like, always choose choose that. Like, just go in, in it full force. And I'm um, sorry, sorry, guys. I'm going to fix this lamp real quick. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
Sorry. Ooh, that was almost <laughs> my hair and stuff. Okay. Okay, this is really like the universe saying, listen, you're talking too long. So let's just wrap this up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra. I cannot, like I cannot stand when things are not <laughs> Um, I'm trying really hard to not let it get to me. So, anyway, um, yeah, follow your intuition. If you just keep following your intuition, then I think in a couple weeks, you'll notice the difference. Like you guys are going to see the change. So stay close to yourself, please. Listen to that intuition. She is talking to you. You can hear her and just um, be excited because beautiful things are coming up, Libra, for you, for you. So, yeah, just be excited. Enjoy Christmas and enjoy New Year's Eve. I don't know what you guys are doing, but please be safe and don't drink and drive, you know, to together. It doesn't really work. But I'm not here to tell you what you can and cannot do. But uh, anyway, beautiful things are coming up. And um, be kind to each other, be nice to people, smile to somebody in the street today, you know, that you don't know. And maybe just need some Libra energy because you guys can be so, so, so sweet. Like you guys can really send out like sweet energies. So very warm people you guys are. So um, thank you so much for listening to this reading i really appreciate it i hope it helped you out maybe it was just for one person i need to get the message out and i hope it helped you and uh, i appreciate you guys i'll see you in my next reading for january let's see if this you know evolves already a little bit okay thank you thank you thank you bye bye